Guys, that's a that's nice to have you here. Thanks for being here. Thanks no for problem. Us. It's the first time we've done anything as a band together, so we're having a great time. How did, so when did you when did you rehearse this? When did you all get together to Just play this music? Morning. Yes, this morning. We <laughs> got up at six a.m. But we did yesterday for a little bit, yeah. and the day before for a little bit. We've 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 said that this is more practicing and rehearsing than any of our sort of individual bands have ever yeah. done before. So, so how we're over prepared is what we're trying yeah. to say. Sam, I'll start with you. Like, how often would you run into these guys on the road? I mean, Canadian music is only so big. Uh, all the time. We've met at many Tim Hortons across the nation. We, we, we basically <laughs> toured for half a year together, and so I would run into him at least once a day when I broke into their dressing room to steal their uh, roast chicken. <laughs> <laughs> steal the hummus off their plate. Oh, no. I went straight for the roast chicken, the uh, good stuff. They had two of them. They didn't know they had two of them on their rider. I would get there before they did and just take one. Right. So, uh, Mano, how did this all come together? Uh... Well, we just kind of talked about a mutual love for how fun it would be to be in a band with no expectations and, um, you know, super easy songs. Uh, and so then one day I was like, hey, I'd love to actually do that. So I called up Sam. I'm like, do you want to do that idea with band with no expectations and super easy songs? And Sam was taking a bath at the time. Mm-hmm. So he was super relaxed. <laughs> and he said, like, without any hesitation, like, sure. <laughs> there, there's this, he got you. That's true. He got he did, you in a vulnerable moment. Very vulnerable <laughs> moment for sure. I, was in the, I literally was in the bath, and I was, but there was also there's a bit of a side story because your first idea that you approached me with was about ten years ago was a rock opera. Oh yeah, so I, I was just really that. excited oh. that it wasn't a rock opera. I was like, I was like new band, great. I'm in. Yeah. Uh, D- Dave, for you, I mean, you and I are around, around the same age, and, yeah. and it, it, it's we kind of grew up listening to a lot of these bands you get to play with right now. Does that does it ever get a chance to occur to you when you're playing music with these guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely when we the first sessions we did and stuff my ears were like very Let's, very open i was like oh cool these guys got some i just like ideas. to clarify dave's grandparents grew up listening to some of the bands <laughs> <that> oh my <laughs> gosh this is getting ribald you guys were huge in ireland uh, <laughs> in the 30s yeah. um but, but but chris for you i mean this is one of many kind of uh, groups you're a part of outside of Sloan. I mean, I feel like you get, must get something. Yeah, this is of- like my plan E. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty yeah. low. Yeah, it's down there. It doesn't matter. I mean, as a child model who uh, became, <laughs> who sort of transitioned into uh, music, I just wanted to throw that he, in. He, is, he literally won't let the child. He's, he was a former. I've been showing e- the pictures. We found this out this morning. He was an original Eden's catalog can, underwear model. Can we back it up? Were you actually a child model? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a joke. I thought it was Chris being his usual hilarious self. He showed us. Well, actually, I haven't seen. Did you guys see the? I picture? saw the pictures. Yeah. He's an underwear, a long underwear model. <laughs> long underwear model, specifically. What, what kind of modeling was it, Chris? I'm not talking about it more than just to joke that I mentioned it. I didn't want to <laughs> derail anything. Um, but uh, I'm, happy to, I'm happy to be here. And uh, so yeah, so they're making old guy jokes with me, but uh, and I'm exaggerating it by saying I was working and. 1974 or whatever. I was. I thought you were. I thought you were telling me the truth that you were some kind of child model. No, I like, am. Yeah, was. Bay was. Or like that's that. in the Eaton's more. catalog and the Sears catalog and a couple of crappy commercials and stuff. There's a website, but we for shouldn't Q, be right? talking about it. We, yeah, can get, we, we have a band. Too. Check my Instagram. <laughs> there are some on there. I'm gonna have a look, but I feel like you must get something out of being in a bunch of different bands, a bunch of different yeah, creative no, pursuits. Uh, yes, I do. You know, it's uh, super fun. These guys are awesome. I feel like I'm kind of. I pulled the least amount of weight. I feel like all of the songs that these guys brought in were awesome. And I kind of, I'm like, uh, what about this chord progression? And I hadn't really figured out what I was doing. But uh, now I'm happy to. Uh, We've nicknamed him Bummer Town because all his <laughs> yeah, songs are like. Yeah, they're kind of, my songs are kind of bummers. His cool. only songs that got turned down were like, Chris, that's too much of a bummer. I can't be on there. So he's like, and, so he brought in more. And then finally the one we settled on was like a one about his like. His son sad, growing sad up and, and losing his childhood. Yeah, that was the happiest. That's what people want to hear about. <laughs> yeah, as per the caliber of my songs, it was like, so "What are we going to play on cue?" I will do Sam's song, and then probably Dave's song, and then Menno's song. That's that's cool. <laughs> don't, don't worry about <laughs> okay. it. It's okay, that's all right. I also have songs. Yeah, but... no, Child Model has songs too, guys. <laughs> I just want to say it. But Menno, all, all the same. I mean, you have four people here who are in are like uh, either leaders or like co-leaders of bands. Is it hard to have some kind of consensus? Is it hard to do? You have to set up kind of ground rules for the band. No, there's no ground rules at all. 
it's been incredibly easy because none of us really care. Um, and I mean that in a great way. That's what's really fun about it. So, uh, and we all really none of us because I'm always <laughs> looking for information that's not there, <laughs> and I have to I have to just go with the flow. I'm like, hey, I'm chill. Is that what we say? <laughs> this seems lit to me, guys. Yeah. I gotta tell you, it's so nice to be here for the first and final public performance. Exactly. Yeah, this exactly. Is really, yeah, yeah, yeah. really exciting. But seriously, I mean, you get four people who are in like leading bands in a row. I have to imagine it gets, you know, it's, it must be challenging. It's not at all. It, I seriously, seriously, it hasn't been like every like. You know, someone would have a comment on like a mix or something. It's the easiest mixing process I ever went through. And someone would have a comment like, hey, what do you guys think if we do this? And everyone else, we do have a, uh, as much as it doesn't seem like it right now, we really have a big respect for all of each other and our musical uh, tastes and stuff like that. So um, everyone just kind of agreed with whatever anyone suggested. We're like, yep, yep, yep. And then- that, that was the best policy. Just say yes to everything and yeah. things work. But yeah, yes. there, there's been a remarkable lack of, of ego, uh, in the whole thing, you know, and not, not to make too light of any, anything, but it's been, uh, just really refreshing to see people actually be able to get together and with this idea, but actually see it through to fruition, which is always the hardest thing about making music is, is, uh, starting it and then f- finishing, finishing it. And we made a record and I think we were all kind of blown away at the fact that we actually went and like the energy this. was there to like bring it over the finish. Line. Exactly. Yeah. Sam's just stoked that he got to be in a band with a band name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm... I don't want to out Menno as someone who works hard, but like all the shoulder shrugging, you know, like, oh, guess what? We're doing well Menno's on rock been... radio. Like he's working. Mm-hmm. Someone is working. I suspect it's Menno. <laughs> I don't think it's uh, Sam or Dave well, or me. Had the first idea it's actually all it, the then... people at Royal Mountain. Not sure, at Royal Mountain. But yeah. I just mean like it's not like we're like, hey, we're so we're just going to be a huge sensation. Like there's work. Someone's <laughs> yeah. doing it. I guess it's the Royal Mountain people, but it's not me. But it, but Menno's made it very easy for the rest of us. Ah. I bet. And it's 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 kind of nice to see. It's rewarding to see and it's nice to see that it's really been paying off. I mean, I saw your photos in the Young and Dundas Square. I saw your your your, your kind of your big face up there and I heard That's your, not I putting heard Chris's kids through college. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to see my face at Young and Dundas Square. I'm still doing it. Yeah. I'm Since 74. <laughs> <laughs> Since that was Eaton's and I was there modeling. Yeah. I don't know if Eaton's was ever there. So if you're just tuning in, I'm Tom Power. This is Q. I'm speaking with the Anyway Gang, Men of Versity, Chris Murphy, Sam Roberts, and, and Dave Monk. So um, our producer, Mitch, came up with this idea for a game and I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about it though I love the oh sigh of disappointment and the oh god of disappointment <laughs> which tells me we're off to a great start Mitch titles it uh, which lyric is it anyway um, no the way it's gonna work is I have lyrics from your four other bands and you're gonna get quizzed ah, on, so on who right. wrote it <laughs> so all you have to do is say which member of the band you think wrote this particular so it's a person who wrote so it do can't. we do we get to chime in we buzz in or you're gonna ask me I'm what's gonna this? ask you individually oh, okay. no. well, this yeah. this becomes because insulting we thought we <laughs> thought it would be interesting to ask everybody but when we realized if it was Sam's lyric and everyone was chiming in except for Sam then you'd know pretty quickly Understood. that it wasn't Sam yeah. you know so okay. we'll do uh, we'll start with Sam how about okay. that make things a little bit easy oh, start with God. Sam oh, by the way I want to point out that these are no no singles we went deep cuts only uh let me just make it clear that this is the exact reason we turned down appearing on ellen this week (laughs) (laughs) you're gonna hate when my fake pa comes in ready for this he got a little bit of a grass he's got a smile on his face he got a little bit of sass he got a red headband like the dire straits man sam that is Colorado. Well done. That is Colorado. I would have guessed Colorado, but I never heard that. Chris, it's not your turn. Okay. <laughs> well, Chris, it is your turn. Uh, the day that your brother started to talk was the day I found you like that, the national child star in a coat and a scarf alone in the laundromat. So it's about me. <laughs> but that's confusing. Is it Jay Ferguson? I'll say <laughs> Sam. That is a Tokyo Police Club song. Oh, my I mean, favorite color. <laughs> Dave Monks. Dave, ready for yours? It's off my favorite yes. album of all time. Okay. She was blessed with a knack for giving bad advice. He's got five thumbs on his left hand, five more on his right. Well, the mom left home with the supermarket clerk, but his dad was only jealous because the kid had work. That's got to be a Chris. That is a Sam. Oh! <laughs> We you wordy people. <laughs> and finally, well, now, Ma- but now, <laughs> sure. 
now I know that this one's going to be Chris. Well, like I was going to say, your system has a flaw. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> the system is Let's flawed. See, whoever, this, whoever said this next one. Chris, if you're under the impression that this is going to make it to ear, I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Menno, your last. Who could it be who Sloan. wrote this line? Yeah. Chris is right, Mitch. We never considered this part yeah. of it. Phew, if I got off lucky, because I've actually no, never, the, no, which I've never listened in to Sloan. Sloan. Which person in Sloan? Oh. No, that's what it is. <clears throat> well, should we even ask? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm writing Young and Gifted in my autobiography. I figured who would know better than me. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a that that's I actually uh, have done that at a spoken word uh, poetry <laughs> slam one time. That's a that's a Chris Murphy original right there. That's a Sloan it, song. Is it a Chris Murphy original? Yep. And it, it gets better. Keep reading. What, what's the next line? <laughs> oh yeah, the next. I actually have the next line here. I can keep going. What you I, should know this. You I'm certainly cool. the former, but I'm not so much oh, the latter. Right. So but quiet. no one's going to read it, so I'm sure it doesn't matter. I always find it sounds better when it's read. Yeah, I I was telling these guys uh, that I when we were in early days when we were touring the states, I went to a coffee shop and just read my songs <laughs> as poems and tried to keep a straight face. I videoed. I have video of it, but I I can't keep a straight face. Did it get a, did it get a, a bit of applause? Or anything a little bit but that's what was breaking me up right. people like yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> um but we also uh just a sidebar story same tour we also did a lot of air banding we would put on a record in air band because there was nobody there we do we'd air band we like, did that one oh. time too no joke we did it for a show that we like a show that we were paid to be at and um we forgot our gear and we didn't have backline we had no gear for the show so we did an air band show hold on air band meaning like like air guitar air drums. everything you just, we put you know, on a record we, and mime we put on right. a record in a bag and mimed it it was in winnipeg and there's about 50 people there Curtin off garrick no uh. <laughs> no it's some little real dumpy place <laughs> and uh about half the audience left the other half stuck around and this is not a joke at the end of the show i asked the promoter if we could get our 200 bucks and he pulled out his air wallet and he slapped <laughs> out 200 oh. air bucks and that's how Sam joined the band. <laughs> well, wait a minute. That's why there's such a big air band scene. That, that sort in of Winnipeg, started the burgeoning air yeah. band scene in Winnipeg. How do you do air band? Winnipeg. How do you do air band with drums? Um, yeah, air drums. But like the drums would be making noise, presumably. No, they right? we didn't Mr. have gear. Like a, uh, we didn't have guitars yeah. or anything. There was no gear, so there was no noise being made. Uh, yeah. I've always wondered that when you do like a when you play along with a track on like an award show or something like that. I guess the drummer is the only person who's playing live because you can't fake that. No, I know you can't not plug they, that in. They put. Pillows in the hi hats and things like yeah, that. yeah. Is it's that soften the blow? I remember they told us uh, uh, we played the Heritage Classic hockey thing in Calgary, and it was like going to be minus thirty. And it was a, it was a CBC broadcast, and they were like, "You got okay, so we're going to pre-record your tracks. You can mime along." We're like, "Nope, nope, you're looking at rock and roll right here. We don't pre-record anything." And they're like, "It's going to be really cold, you know, trust me." And uh, we didn't pre-record it. And then when we got there, or they made us pre-record everything, but the they let us sing the vocals live. I, and it was, I just come. remember having gloves on, like big gloves playing bass and being like, oh, God, kill me. This is. <laughs> and if anyone saw you on TV and with your gloves, they'd know that they'd you be like, playing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't play guitar with mittens on. <laughs> you can play bass with, with gloves on. I do it all the time. Every time we play New Year's outside, usually uh -huh. Barry, uh, I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> it's only one note in Money City Maniacs. So. That's true. <laughs> uh, you guys going to play Eyes of Green? Whose song is that? Uh, that is. Oh, uh... oh, oh. Is it Sam's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Menos. Yeah. Menos, can you tell me about the song? Uh, yeah, I just today, uh, Dave was like, yeah, this is a song of relationship. It's actually a, a song about the earth dying. That's the goodbye, your eyes of green part. They call my so songs the bummers. Here they are picking on you and <laughs> yeah. saying your songs are bummers. And this guy's writing a song about the death of the frogs. Yeah, uh, well, uh, it's actually about the death of the humans. That was about the attack of the clones. <laughs> like I said, the final performance of Anyway Gang. This is Anyway Gang performing Eyes of Green on cue. Their debut album is out everywhere now.